My name is Tom Watley. I've completely forgotten about my speech now listening to that. That's incredible, um, hearing that story. Last, last month I addressed the board with regard to the MOU and the race to the top and to take a second look at it, and, and the board did, and I was very appreciative of that. I'm a little under the weather, so I'll just try and get out of here. Um, but one of the statements that I made, ladies and gentlemen, was that, you know, how do you want to be remembered when you walk out of here? We have the potential of changing five seats, minimum two, we know that. So on your last day that you walk out of here, of the Fulton Center, as a board member, how do you want to be remembered? And, and that was my speech. So then I move over to Dr. Johnson. Dr. Johnson, this, is, this has been a tough year on you, and I'm hearing people that have heard you speak so far since your evaluation last week that you're a little humbled about what's occurred this year, almost apologetic. What I would like for you to do, sir, is you actually look in the mirror and how do you want to be remembered? Uh, I think the media has put your age at 65. You're getting, you know, you're, you're moving on toward retirement years. You're probably thinking about it. It's coming up. So how do you want to be remembered? I mean, I'm always going to remember you for the guy that was a middle manager that got fired and then became the CEO of a 22,000 person corporation. That's how I remember you. But I know there's a lot of people who remember you as a principal and, and as a board member and some of the good things you did. But when you take your boat out this year during your vacation time and you cast that line, you still have some time left with this district. What I'd like for you to do is think about how do you want to be remembered? I think, that, I think that just speaks volumes. I think you need to take your enemy list, your political hit list, tear it up, start from scratch. You actually have the ability to do that. Yeah, I, I know you can do it. I know you're humbled right now, um, especially in light of the, uh, what's going on with the uh, uh, last week's evaluation as well as the no, no vote of confidence, not only from the, the teachers, but even the parents. I've never seen a combined vote of confidence. Uh, maybe you guys have, I haven't. So it's been a humbling year. I think you know that. So if, when you're casting that line, you've got a lot of time to think during your downtime in the summer here. Um, figure out how do you want to be remembered? What can you do to change things to create a better partnership with the community? Because you do work for them. And when you made the comment earlier that we should be clapping at something, you don't tell the taxpayers that they should be clapping at something. You said that during the agenda items, and you need, you, you honestly, you need to lose that. I think some of your, your friends up here will tell you that, that, that that comment was uncalled for. I'm gonna remember that comment tonight and not what you spoke about during that agenda item. You know, so think about how you become, can become more of a people person and work for the people. I think that's what we need. We need that out of a superintendent. We don't need for a superintendent to tell the people to clap. I'm here too. Thank you. My name is Ellen Smith. I'm a Glades native. My family, I went to school in the Glades myself, my children have. And I, and you, 